This is one of my favorite types of problems when we are given a particle velocity vector or acceleration vector and we ask to integrate it to go back to the position. So we're lucky here we're just going back from V to R but in general we could ask you to go from A then to V and then to R. So in this case the process will be faster. We just need to go from V to R. How to do that? Using integration. So let's perform some integration. The position vector R of T will be an integral of V of T. This integral is going to be just integrate piece by piece. 4t gives me 4t squared over 2. Cosine gives me sine. And then 2e to the minus 2t, you're supposed to use the substitution. But I actually know the shortcut. It's going to be copy and then divide by the linear part of the exponent. That's exactly what would you call du. So divide by minus 2. The thing is, what I just did not do is every time you integrate, you have plus c part, right? So you're supposed to actually write it down. Don't forget about that. You can code abc if you want. I like to code c1, then c2, and c3. Some students actually write it down as a separate vector. They code like so, c1, c2, and c3. That is also correct. Either you include it in each component or you write it down as a separate, separate vector. Also, don't forget dt equals. So, we need to find those c's. What are my c1, c2, and c3? Without finding them, we just found a family of solutions, which are infinitely many solutions shifted up and down by c's. And that is why they gave us the initial value initial value is r at 0 was 2, 3, and 0. And that's why problems like these called initial value problems. Problems with the given initial value. You will see quite a lot of problems like this in differential equation class. So r at 0 supposed to be 2, 3, and 0. Now this is given. Thus, 2, I will, be, I will be writing like this, 2, 3, and 0 should be equal to, let's simplify, 2t squared plus c1, sine t plus c2, and let's also simplify 2 and minus 2, minus e to the minus 2t plus c3. Each component should be set equal to each other. 2 equals 2t two squared plus c1. But remember, this way we're not going to find c's. We actually need to plug the initial value, whatever it is. It can be 1, 0, minus pi. So I will write down a bar and then I will write down t at 0. This is a notation many people like bar t equals 0. We read it vector at 0. So, this is 0, and this is 0, and this is 0. Not the whole thing, only the t. Then, I immediately get this. 0 plus c1 is 2. 3 is sine of 0. 0 plus c2. And 0 is minus 1, because e to the 0 is actually 1. Plus c3. Solving the system of three equations with three unknowns, I get that C1 is 2, C2 is 3, and C3 is 1. Thus, the answer for the question A, what is my um, our position vector, is going to be 2t squared plus 2, that is my C1, sine t plus 3, that's c2, minus e to the minus 2t plus 1, that is my c3. This is how we found c1, c2, 
C3. And then you repeat the whole process if we are asked to do uh, more integration. That's the idea. So we finished part A. Part B asks to find the particle that has a mass of 3 kilograms. And it means they want us to use this formula. Force F equals M times A where m is 3 kilos or whatever this mass is. So that's a constant. A is acceleration. Acceleration. And also at the moment, 0, t equals 0. But we don't have acceleration here. We have v instead. How to find acceleration from v? In another video, we did this problem. I need to differentiate v. So let me write down b. Vector v, which is velocity, is given or was given at the very beginning as 4t cosine t and 2e to the minus 2t. Then acceleration vector will be derivative of this velocity vector, which is 4 minus sine t and then minus 4e to the minus 2t by chain rule, right? Then, this is my acceleration vector. They want us to multiply this acceleration vector at 0, a. So let me write down that this was a at t. And now we need to plug 0. It's going to be 4, 0, minus 4. How do I know? Because sine of 0 is 0, and then e to the 0 is 1. Thus, or then, f of t. As a formula says, force can be found by multiplying of t mass, which is a constant, by the acceleration vector. m is given as 3. Vector, we just found 4, 0, minus 4. So the final answer will be 12, 0, minus 12. Not too bad. So in this one problem, we had to differentiate and integrate, which was pretty fun to do. Hopefully you remember how to do it from previous calculus classes. Thank you for watching and see you next time.